Hi, my name is Trident Boy, and I'm going to be playing some Sea of Thieves. And um, yeah, I'm just going to be sailing to the nearest seaport, and I'll see you when I get there. Alright, I'm at the seaport. They're firing at me, but I don't think they can actually hit you. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but um, I've never actually been hit from one of the seaport cameras. Um, it seems like almost every single one they miss when they have really good shots, but I don't know. Raiding the sea forts are really good to do if you're doing like a really long session because they have really good uh, loot. They can get you a good 20,000, uh, but if you have an emissary flag raised for any of the factions, you will just get that sort of loot. So I have my Order of Souls flag raised, which means that I will have um, only skulls. Alright, someone's finally joined me, and let's go raid the seaport. Where is all the phantoms? Don't see them on this level. Are they on the next level? No. Fun level? No. Hmm. Maybe they can only spawn if both people are on the uh, wall. I'll go back to the ship to get him on. Yeah, they're nowhere to be seen. That's just... Yeah, go back to the ship, see what he's doing. Oh, he's raising the anchor. Wait, is the flag raised there? Yeah, it's raised. Alright, I'll help him. Oh, he's finished. Okay, what's he doing? Okay, he's headed to the seaport. Oh, there they are. There's all the phantoms. Oh, that one just went straight through me. Okay. Oh, right next to me. Oh, he's killed it. Ooh. Not sure whose shot that was. Okay. Now, they should be spawning on a higher level. There they are. Oh, shot them. Missed. Where are they? There he is. Oh my gosh, he just moved. Oh, they're gonna kill me. Yeah. Okay, we load on ammo. There we go. Okay, the cannons can't reach my ship. Just making sure. Wow, he's really finding all the gold patches. Oops, oh my gosh, that's it. There we go. Need to heal. There we go. Now, where are the other? Oh, there he is. Oh, just, just gonna block a man attack. Bang. My gosh, they're just boarding straight through me. And dealing on the damage. Oh, there we go. to heal. Now where are they going to spawn? Oh gosh they spawned right there. There's four. Oh and they've all vanished. Okay. I've just got to deal with one now. Oh 2,000 gold. Nice. If you were wondering this is my ship we're doing this on. Now there we go. So I refilled on ammo. Now where are they going to spawn? Alright, that's where he is. What? Oh, he's taken the keg. Okay, he's put the keg down so he can kill the final boss. I'm guessing. Oh, there they are. Maybe I should probably get some more better aim. They're just blocking. Okay, where are they? 
Oh my gosh, if I had missed that, that would have been very bad. I still would have killed him, but just wouldn't have, you know, wouldn't have been able to kill the final boss as fast. Okay. Wait, he opened that, that place? I didn't think he could open the yeah. other. I didn't, hmm. I didn't know that. Um, now, where are they going to spawn? Oh, there they are. They're coming up. Are they? No, doesn't seem like they are. Let's go. Oh, no, they are. Anyone? No, none of the captains. Oh, come on. Missing all my shots. Oh, don't come up. Oh, he's coming up. Whoa, that was lucky. I'd missed that shot. That would not have been good. Hit, 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 hit. <laughs> Finally, it took him like three shots to kill. Well, that's how long it usually takes, but he was biting back. I think this is the first time they've ever fought back. Where? Um, okay, he's got another kick. Now this should definitely kill him. Pop it out. There's one. No. Yes. Just. Okay. Mm. Okay, he's killed it. Oh, there it is. There we go. Oh. He obviously threw one of his uh, daggers. Which is actually a new addition in season 12. Uh, they're throwable daggers. You, they can do basically the same as swords and guns. You can use them as weapons. Yep, that's the captain. Let's go. Okay, we literally just got him as soon as he came up. Okay, and then that's the dagger I did it with. Okay, he's got the key. So we'll go unlock it. I'll get him to unlock mine from the outside. So it's just easier. I'll get him to unlock the, the outdoors area. Just so we can get it to our ship it is a lot easier. I want to open this because this could have skulls in it. No, okay, gold patch. Level 19. Reputation or an order of souls. There we go. Now the door's just here. Can you open it for me? Oh yeah, he's gonna open it for me. Okay. Now let's get all our stuff back. Yep, read on a sea fault. Sea fault complete. Okay, let's just pick up some of this gold. Alright. Uh, let's just see what else is in these places. Doesn't look like there's anything else. No, nothing? Okay. Pick up some of this gold too. Pick up that, that, that place of gold. Yeah. Alright. Now. Doesn't look like there's anything left. Okay, good. No, no, the gold pouch. Cool. Yes, pineapple. Let's go. Pineapples are the best food in the game. They can heal 100 HP and you get two uh, pieces of them. You get one. You can eat it twice, so that's two one hundreds, which means it can. If you're on a slither of health, then you can instantly go back up to full health. And if you're on like half health, it'll from any point as long as you're still alive. Uh, pineapples will get you back up to full health always. Thanks. All right. Now let's sail to the nearest outpost. 
Let's get going. He's been ear established. Oh, is a fall, which stands for Fort of Fortune. Um, a Fort of Fortune is basically a normal skeleton fort, which spawn just a bunch of waves of skeleton, a couple of waves of skeletons, and then after you've uh, killed all the skeletons, it will come up with. Uh, a boss. I think there's up to three bosses. I'm not sure. And uh, when they, when you kill them, they will drop their skull and they will drop a um, key to the bottom deck. Um, in that place, there would just be the normal chest skulls. Um, if you have a a like a emissary that will give you the uh, like loot of that emissary. So skulls for the Order of Souls, chests for the uh, gold hoarders, and also a a chest of fortune, which if you sell thirty of them will give you great cosmetics. Uh, and they also go for twenty thousand. Right. Not a bad haul of skulls. From Golden Glory Weekend. Okay, now let's just avoid all these rocks. Hmm. Not taking any water. Alright. Okay, we're not going to hit that, luckily. I'm just going to park there. Oh, he's gonna send himself over, has he? Yep. He's just sent himself over. Okay, I'll, I'll go park there then. Now, here's a tip for if you're playing on high seas. Um, lower your anchor when you're stopping at a uh, island, then raise the sails, then make sure your steering wheel is set in the middle, and then raise your anchor. Otherwise, if your wheel is tilted to the left or the right, it will constantly spin in that direction. Now, I think he's killing ocean crawlers. Okay. I'm trying to hook the ground. Here we go. Just a bit closer to the eye. There we go. Right, he's defeated an ocean crawler because I had only defeated. Oh, I thought I defeated. No, I defeated one. Okay, so put on the arm. See if there's. Okay, good. That's a mermaid statue. Now, mermaid statues can drop up to three gems. Uh, yeah, up to three gems. One, there is three types of gems. I think ruby, sapphire, and emerald. I just got an emerald gem, which is the best. Um, but the more, and they can be sold to any faction, uh, including the hunters faction, which you sell fish and meats to. Okay. There. I didn't know that counted as treasure. Right, now, let's just get back to the ship. And then we'll take all the stuff out of the water. And then we'll get to sell it to the... If you own a ship, you can sell it to the Sovereigns, which will give you a reputation for everything you sell. So if you sell it to Order of Souls, if you've got, like, skulls, it will give you the reputation you would have gotten from the Order of Souls, except you can sell everything there. And also, it's really easy to pick up. There's a harpoon just next to it. Alright. And let's just sail. Yep. So, 
Star's Lord. And let's hit sail. Okay. I have to say, that sunset looks really realistic. Alright, we're finally at the uh, outpost. Let's. So this is the sovereigns. They will accept anything you have to sell, including stuff of any kind. Um, and but if you do sell sapphire, uh, mermaid gems to them, they won't count as any reputation for any of the factions. You'll have to sell them directly to the outlets for the factions. So you can't sell a emerald to them and get reputation for the Order of Souls. You'd have to go to the Order of Souls and sell it there. Otherwise, it wouldn't. Uh, otherwise, you wouldn't get any reputation. You'd still get the exact same amount of money, but you just wouldn't get the reputation. On Golden Glory Day and an emissary, you get double, and then if your emissary is five, then you get a lot more. Alright, now let's go. I'll let him pick it up with his treasure chest. Okay, I'll take the skull. That's a lot of gold, because you also get, yeah, as I said, four. There we go. Let's go, that's a lot of money. Gold. And if you get enough gold, you can buy your own ship. 250k for a sloop, which is a single sail up to two uh, crew, uh, yeah, including the captain, and a, uh, yeah. Okay, what do we want to do next? Um, ghost ship battle? Nah. Raid? Sea fort? What level do you have to be to do a um, skeleton fort? 35, okay. No, can't do that yet. Hmm. Oh, he's accepted the skull sound song. Okay. This most adventurous of expeditions. I'm searching okay, I know. Uh, okay, that one is the. Isle of Last Words, I think. Just be aware that once you have the chest key or skull, you'll be Let's visible see. to all the other crews. Uh, no, you might have to fight them off to claim the reward for yourself. Isle of Last Words, yeah, it as is. As soon as you bring the skull of okay. Siren Song to the destination now I Now let's get you, there. I will make it's not that far away, is it? So what are you waiting mm. for? On with the quest. Oh yeah, that's pretty far. Oh, okay. Good luck. Well, we should get it there. There's the sail, the uh, anchor. Alright, let's hit sail. So, usually the Skull of Siren Song will give you 50,000 gold, but if you sell it on Golden Glory Weekend, you could get 100,000. Alright, we're uh, just coming up on a, uh, what's it called, shipwreck, and the Isle of Lost Words isn't that far away, it's just behind the shipwreck. Alright, yeah, it's just there. Um, what else? Alright, we're just coming up on it now, and we'll just lower the anchor. And Wreck of the Bloody Death. Oh, okay. Um, now, these aren't actual shipwrecks, they are naturally generated random name shipwrecks. So, if your ship sinks um, and then you respawn your ship, you can't uh, just see your own ship uh, sunk even if it's the same type of ship it will never be the exact same ship as yours they're not actual sunken ships they're just 
naturally generated. Alright, we've got to quickly get out. Okay, we're taking damage. I think you can spend up to a minute down under before you think either die of drowning or get really close. Okay, here we go. We're at the Isle of Last Words. Just drop the anchor. Alright. Okay, quickly. Uh, where is it? Okay, it's just near the rocks. There's the rocks. Alright, uh, let's go quickly straight to the rocks. Nah. Nah. If it is actually the treasure, then, um, okay, okay. I'll just go kill the phantoms with it. There we go. And, okay, it killed the phantom. Oh, I hate it when they teleport, it's so annoying. All right, snakes, kill snakes. All right, where is it? Oh, it's way down there, okay. Well, let's have a look. There we go, finally. Okay, it's the key of science. Okay, there's girls in spawning. Just drop it there, and then harpoon it up. So he's just fighting them off, okay. He's fighting them off. You can actually use the harpoon to deal damage to mobs. See? You can actually use the harpoon to kill mobs. But if you do it to a player, then it will just reel them in. Oh. So if you are attacking someone else and you harpoon them onto your ship, then and they're a solo player, then you've most likely won the fight. Okay, is he coming to help? Yeah, okay. Here we go. Okay, where is the next place that I'm supposed to be going? Close to that. Okay, Wanderer's Refuge. Uh, it's not that far away. Oh, I've done a mission there before, okay. Shrine of Flood and Grace. Okay, they're not that far. We're just between the Crooked Mast and Shipwreck Bay. Okay. Right, we won't want to crash. Okay, we've um, just been sailing for a bit. We're just about to be there. The place. Okay, here we are. All right, here we are. We're at there. Wait, why did he just go into the ocean? Okay, it's time for a pick up. All right. He's probably going to get a uh, mermaid. Yeah, he's got a mermaid. Alright. Oh gosh, we're going to crash. Um, okay. No. Uh, yeah. Okay. Not that bad. This is Future Dragon Boy here. It took a lot longer than expected. Okay, some phantoms behind me. There we go. I took care of them. Alright. Okay, there we go. There's another phantom. This guy just keeps teleporting. Oh gosh, that's a lot of a lot of gold. Ah, oh, that's really is a lot of gold. Oh wait, what is that? Okay. There we go. Alright, final defeat. Let's 
actually gold. That's odd. Okay, now let's go find the. Uh, let's go find the actual thing because we've been searching for over a day now. I still can't find it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's just wait for the skeletons to come. Alright. Okay, he's dug up the chest. Okay, here we go. Right, let's open the chest. Only when the chest is opened can you actually find the location you've got to get the skull to. So, here we go. I'm looking the chest. Skull of Solomon Song. Here we go. Curse from the deep. What? Wait a second, that's a skeleton galleon. A galleon and a sloop. Really? A skeleton galleon, a galleon, and a sloop. Is the sloop and the galleon fighting and then the skeleton galleon spawned? Or was the galleon and the skeleton galleons fighting and then the, the sloop came in? Or I don't know what happened. There's the location that we need to go to. It's really odd. I've never seen that before. It's actually kind of cool. Oh, that's a lot of activity. Because, bear in mind, there is actually a limit to five ships uh, per server. So, to have three within a vicinity of, I don't know, a couple of me kilometers is pretty, pretty good. And two literally fighting it out. I mean, that's not that rare, but like. A skeleton galleon, a galleon, and a sloop, and then another sloop that's passing by. Like, that's pretty rare. Okay. The wind's facing the other direction. There we go. Alright. Wow. Oh no, the sloop and the galleon are fighting. They're not friends, okay. I just saw a splash in the water. See? There's a nice splash. Okay, where are we headed? I don't know what the island's called, but... I think they can only be on big islands, not small islands. Mermaid's hideaway, okay. Alright. Um... There's nobody on our map. Okay. Alright, we're about to crash. Oh gosh. Okay, well... Uh, is he off with the skull? Yeah, he's taken off with the skull. Okay, I'll go fix the ship. So we don't sink. Because that would be bad. And when you crash uh, and cause holes in your ship, you do have to repair it because unlike if you don't own your ship, when it just returns to pristine condition, you will have to pay to get it back to pristine condition. It doesn't mean that it will spawn with holes, but it will spawn with showing holes. So it will show damage when you spawn it. But if you're fine with damage, then it's okay. But if you want your ship to be in pristine condition, you have to spend at least, I think, 3,900 if you damage it like a lot, a lot to max, I think, if you scuttle your ship. But if you don't scuttle your ship and you just let it sink, uh, like if you just bucket your ship, it should be fine. Okay. Let's, okay, there's Captain Goodsy. 
Bring the skull of Come on, to me. come on, Easy. and that's a hundred grand. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.